Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for stopping by today on this beautiful Saturday or whenever you are finding my reading. So I wanted to bring you guys um, a reading to check in on the energies of the person that you are thinking about. This is most likely going to be a romantic connection as most of my readings are geared, geared towards that. Thank you guys so much for being here again. Um, I'm almost to 3,000 subscribers, so if you are new, welcome. And hopefully you find my readings helpful on your journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will be giving away a free tarot reading once I reach 3,000 subscribers. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, my Etsy link is below. Um, I'm adding a couple of readings on there, so be sure to check that out if you are interested. And um, let's jump right in. So pal one, instead of crystals today, you can pick by the tarot card. We have the ace of wands. We have the seven of pentacles for pal two. I'm sorry guys, if you hear one of my dogs. And pal three is going to be the three of cups. So choose whichever one you are intuitively drawn to you guys. Again, these are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and I will see you guys at your pal. Hi, pal number one. If you chose the Ace of Wands, this is going to be your reading. So I'm going to um, place this card over here. I feel like intuitively, if you guys picked this pile, um, I definitely feel like you are maybe waiting on someone to make a move or you're waiting for um, maybe communication from your person. But let's go ahead and start with some tarot. So, so guides, please bring forth messages here for whoever is watching for pile number one to give us the correct guidance for them that they need to hear. How is their person feeling towards pile number one spirit? What do they need to know? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles and um, it was in reverse. I'm gonna take it for some reason. I am feeling drawn to take it in reverse. I don't normally, but today I am. One's person. Okay, we have the Spirit of Cups coming out. Yeah. I'm already getting the message that you are waiting, there's something delayed here, that maybe you've been waiting for something to happen between you and this person. And because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, it seems like the person that you're thinking of is maybe um, delaying something that maybe you are asking for, or um, there's some sort of delay here with the two of you guys that's preventing you two from maybe moving things forward. Um, oops. Okay, that fell. We have, yeah, the Ten of Swords in reverse. And look at this, yeah. We have the Chariot in reverse, you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords upright. So I can tell you guys right away that it does seem like there has been some sort of um, energy here of feeling very stuck and we have the ace of pentacles the ten of swords the chariot in reverse and I do feel like the person that you are thinking of the way that they're feeling right now is overwhelmed I think there's a lot of frustration here when it comes to the connection and it could be because there is like the Spirit of Cups is the King of Cups. So this person's very emotional right now about you and the connection. I do also feel like they have deep feelings for you. You know, this King of Cups is about emotional stability. It's about someone who is emotionally mature and someone who uh, makes really wise decisions based on what their heart is wanting. But we have all of these other cards surrounding it and I wanna clarify, um, Clarify the Ten of Swords in Reverse Spirit. Okay. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Swords Spirit. Okay. And we have 
the seven of swords and it was sideways. So I'm gonna take it that way. A lot of swords energy here. So this person overall feels like they love you, they have strong feelings for you, but they're having trouble moving things forward or they're having trouble maybe um, telling you the truth about something. So the seven of swords that we got there to clarify the eight of swords, yeah, this person feels like maybe what they had said to you wasn't all that they wanted to say. Like, I feel like this person has more to say, but they're having trouble of, of when or what to say or how to say it. Um, and there's a lot of sadness here and a lot of grief with the five of pentacles. There's definitely a loss here. And this person feels like um, you were maybe their stability. You were maybe someone they um, saw as very promising. And now something, whatever happened with the two of you guys, uh, this person is in a lot of agony and a lot of pain is kind of what I'm getting. Um, yeah, there's something that's not moving between the two of you guys, and I think this person wishes that it could move. Let's go ahead and get a card here for pal one. How does their person feel? Yeah, look at that. We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. We have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. So I was picking up on the energy of feeling um, very sad. And, you know, this person really misses you. And at the bottom of the deck, we have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So pretty heavy energies, I would say, for Pal um, One, the person that is on your mind. Um, this could most likely be a breakup, separation. Um, maybe you are hoping to hear from this person. This person, um, I don't know, maybe you guys broke up. or Definitely some sort of ending here that has happened with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And I feel like... They feel at a loss and they feel very frustrated. Um, why does pile number one's person feel frustrated, Spirit? Why do they feel frustrated? Yeah, we have the Hermit in reverse. And look at that, we have the Five of Cups and we have the, yeah, the Eight of Wands. So, this tells me that this person, um, I think the two of you guys have been broken up for quite some time here, but also with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands, um, there is a delay here or this person wishes and thinks about you, thinks about maybe wanting to reconnect with you, wishing that things were different between the two of you, feeling very isolated right now from maybe the world, from themselves, of maybe even how they're feeling even though they're coming out as a spirit of cups, I do feel like this person feels like um, their life has been turned upside down, literally with this hermit in reverse since the two of you guys have been apart. So a lot of sadness here is what I'm getting for uh, pile number one. Let's see if we can get one of these cards here for the person on how they're feeling. Or pile one spirit. How do they feel about the person that is watching? Yeah, see, we have decisions and waiting. So I was picking up on this energy in the beginning that there is some sort of um, this, there is a delay here for sure. And I think that maybe them or both of you guys are maybe waiting for someone to make the next move. Um, there's also a decision that has to be made. And I think it's really on their end on, you know, I feel like they are maybe trying to figure out what it is that they want to say, how they want to break the ice, um, because they're still very emotional when it comes to you. I also feel like this person, for some reason, um, there's this message coming through that they have grown a lot. So like maturity wise, we have the spirit of cups. So 
So maybe before the two of you guys argued a lot because maybe they were immature and now that you guys have been apart, there is this energy of them wanting you to know that they have grown since the two of you guys um, have been apart from each other since the separation or maybe they've learned a lot during this separation. So let's get some messages of uh, some words of maybe what they would want to say to you for pile number one. Pile number one. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I'm trying to move on, but the thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. So yeah, this person is heavily thinking about you. A lot of sadness here for you guys. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. So going back to them feeling like they have grown, um, they have matured, here's confirmation. This person feels like they are a different person now. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you've moved on. Yes, look at that, you guys. Pile number one. Oh, yeah, I definitely feel that whole, that message just resonated with this whole reading. Um, and bottom of the deck, I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept them, kept you as a friend and nothing more. So yeah, with the Ace of Wands, for some of you, if this was a situation where you were waiting for this person to maybe take things to the next level, like you were waiting for them to make a decision and they couldn't and they didn't because they were immature at the time, this person knows that, um, they know that they couldn't handle the way that they truly felt about you, that it was overwhelming. Um, but now they see the light. Now they've come to that conclusion, that epiphany, that you know, they have a lot of love for you and it goes very deep um, with this spirit of cups here. So let's go ahead. I wanna get advice for you guys, the person that is watching. Okay, what do you want Pal one to know? Okay, we have table, hard work ahead. So Spirit wants to bring forth the message that um, if the two, if you are hoping for reconciliation, I think there could be a possibility, again, energy shift, but if there is a reconciliation that to both of you guys would have to put in a lot of, you know, like you have to work towards this connection to maybe understand each other, communicate better with each other, um, etc. So let's get, okay. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. And we have nest, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. So those are um, separate messages aside from kind of what's going on with this connection. Take it however it resonates here if you are dealing with um, a family member. Um, also with the forest card, I want to get this just popped out, September. So something about September here, maybe things will be clearer um, moving into September with this person that is on your mind. We did get a timing card here, so, and there's very few of these in the deck. So that could be significant. Someone's birthday could be in September. Um, September could be special to you. But um, that was your reading pile number one. I hope this resonates, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. If you are interested in a highly personalized reading, follow my Etsy link below. And I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, pal two. If you chose the seven of pentacles, this is gonna be your reading. So I'll stick the card over here. Um, for this, if you guys chose that card, I'm feeling, <laughs> excuse me, intuitively that you guys have been putting a lot of effort into this connection and you are waiting for um, maybe something to grow between the two of you guys. So this could be that the two of you guys are together and you are waiting for something to blossom from this connection or move to the next level. Um, that's just kind of what I'm getting intuitively. So let's go ahead and get some tarot. Pile to spirit, how does their person feel towards them? What do they need to know? 
at this moment. How to. Okay, you know what? This was at the bottom of the deck before I started the video, and here it is again. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Innocence of Swords. Okay, we have, oh, that's interesting. We have the Five of Cups, and we have the Movement of Swords. Was this reverse? I don't remember, so I'll just take it upright. Um, and let's stick it here. The bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. That is interesting. So the Two of Cups is about a connection here that someone that someone is already in your life. So I think definitely you are with this person. You guys are in a committed relationship together. Um, but there seems to be a heartbreak, and I feel like this might be you, the person watching. I don't think it's um, them. It could be a little bit, but it's standing out to me very clearly here, and I feel like it's you, the person watching. You are feeling like things are really great between the two of you guys. You guys have a really solid connection here with the Two of Cups. You know, there's a lot of emotional, physical attraction. You know, the two of you guys just understand each other. You get each other. Um, but I feel like you're almost um, confused about where this is going. Um, and we have the innocence of swords and the movement of swords. So I feel like the person that you're thinking of, they might be feeling the same way as well, where they are, um, they know that they would have to move this connection into something more, maybe um, not that you aren't committed, but just moving things to the next level whatever phase of your relationship that you are in because we are going from the innocence of swords to the movement of swords and we have the two of pentacles here so i want to clarify the two of pentacles for pal two now we have the innocence of cups coming out clarify the two of pentacles okay yeah we have the eight of wands in reverse and bottom of the deck, we have the star and the moon after that. So I feel like we have a lot of a lot of pages coming out, and I'm just gonna get the moon here. I feel like your person feels like you, the two of you guys are divinely meant for each other. That's what I'm getting here. That's very clear to me that they do see you as their other half, that the two of you guys have a really great and solid relationship. They have a lot of romantic feelings for you. But it could be that what they are maybe thinking of long-term might not be what you are wanting. And so maybe, for example, maybe you are wanting kids or maybe you are wanting to get married and maybe this person doesn't see traditionally um, that, you know, to be with someone, you have to be married. Kind of that situation is what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be your situation, but it just seems like that this person feels like they feel comfortable with how the connection is right now. And it's almost like they don't feel like there is a need to maybe um, take things to the next level. Like this person feels content with how things are at the moment. And it's not because they don't love you, pal number two. I just feel like their values might be a little bit differently from yours, if that makes sense, or what they what um, they feel a relationship should be like. Because um, it's very strong here, the way they feel about you. But with the moon card, that could be about confusion. So I, I, I definitely think there's a um, maybe a confusion here. It could be something that you guys would need to talk about here about what it is that the two of you guys truly want moving forward, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting here. But with the star card, I mean, that is about, you know, beautiful things happening ahead and things unfolding divinely how they're meant to. It's about the stars aligning maybe for the two of you guys for um, a higher purpose here, you know, and you can see the star you know, it's completely symmetrical on 
most of the sides and it, you know, what am I trying to say? <laughs> like aligning, aligning to something here. And I do feel like um, that this person kind of wishes that maybe the two of you guys could could talk about this because I definitely feel like you guys might not be talking at the moment with the eight of wands in reverse here. So I want to go ahead and get one of these cards to see a little bit more about how two's person, how are they feeling about the person that is watching? I don't like how that came out. There we go. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Abundance. I am limit. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So. I do feel like with these cards that this person, the way they feel about you is that you have a lot to offer and the relationship that you guys have is very abundant. Again, I'm seeing that the two of you guys have a lot of things in your relationship that is um, almost perfect with the star card. Like the two of you guys have a wonderful, healthy, physical, emotional relationship. But with the imagination and acceptance, I almost, I feel like this person just feels like the way they imagine being with someone is maybe not the way you imagine it. And so there is definitely an energy here of them maybe hoping or wanting you to accept them for who they are or for what the relationship is um, without maybe um, wanting to, to get married they want you to know that they love you regardless if the two of you guys are married on paper or not that's just what came to me that's a very strong message here and it's not that they don't you know love you it's just some people just don't believe in marriages and that's okay um but it's really ultimately how you feel pal number two and i feel strongly that maybe you are wanting to get married so how to how does their person feel towards them? Okay. Yeah, we have dive deep. So I feel like this person is really, really thinking about a lot of things right now. Like they are soul searching right now of maybe what to do in this connection. Um, they are trying to come up with the answers that maybe would make you feel and let them and let you know that they love you pal number two we have gratitude yeah this person feels like you know they don't regret whatever's happened with the two of you guys they definitely know that you and them are meant to be in each other's lives for a certain reason and we have feelings that just popped out again very deep emotional bond here between the two of you guys i'm seeing that very clearly so I have no doubt, you know, that this person has um, a connection with you, a very deep connection with you, pound number two. Let's get some actual words that they would want to say to you at this moment for pal two. What do they want to say to the person that is watching? Yeah. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. Yes, pile number two. So that makes sense here with the dive deep. I do feel like this person is trying to work um, and kind of dive deep right now on and soul search, right? Because they know that you deserve a lot and they know that, you know, I, I don't feel like this person wants to walk away from this connection. And so they are trying to do maybe everything that they can to understand your side and, you know, make things work between the two of you. Let's get another message. What would they want to say? Okay. 
There is still hope for us if you can take me back. Can you forgive and forget? Wow, that is very powerful. Um, number two, so if you guys had a falling out or just taking a break from each other, this person, um, they have this very, very strong bond with you and they don't want to lose you, pal number two. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you have, you've had time to reflect? So I think that both of you guys have been taking some space from each other and they are definitely maybe wondering if you still feel the same way about them. Um, from, you know, whatever's happened here. I want to go ahead and get advice for pal two. I just got really lightheaded, you guys. Sometimes it happens, as you know, in my readings. Oops. Okay, that flew out. We have fire. Look at that. Strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. Yes. There is a lot, I think, between the two of you guys. It's, you know, there is something worth saving here, right? If you guys are thinking about walking away from this, there is a lot of good things between the two of you. We have family wishes coming true and we have the star card. So that could be a separate message. If you guys are maybe hoping to have kids, I do see that happening for you. Um, if you are wanting kids for some of you that you needed to hear that, and there's a message for you that I think it will happen in the future. And let's get one more for you guys. Oh, look at that. We have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Yeah, this person really, really loves you, pal number two. It's coming through really strongly. The two of cups, even before I started the reading, to here, to it flying out. Um, this person really loves you and they definitely want you to know that right now at this moment so pile number two that was your reading i hope this resonates you guys let me know in the comments below if you are interested in a highly personalized personalized reading follow the etsy link below guys thank you and i'll see you next time take care hello pal three if you chose the three of cups this is going to be your reading. So I'm just going to set it over here. So with this pile, um, what I'm intu intuitively feeling for you guys from that card, I feel like you guys are at a really good place with this person. So I, I feel like this is most likely a friendship that is maybe blossoming into something more. You are asking about a friend that you have romantic feelings for, but it seems like there is a lot of, um, hope, joy, a lot of possibilities here. I am just feeling that very strongly. So let's take a look. So Pal 3 Spirit, how does their person of interest feel about the person that is watching? What is it that they need to know at this moment? Whew, I was I got really lightheaded pile three from my last pile and I still feel it right now. Um, if you guys know, I get lightheaded during my reading sometimes when the energies are, I don't know, very, very present. Pile three, or just very intense, not present, but intense. Okay, pile three spirit, how does their, I don't like how that came out, how does their person feel? Okay, that fell. We have the justice card. Oh, and we have the chariot. Very cool. Two major arcanas right away. Okay, we have the four of wands coming out and we have the wheel of fortune. It's in reverse, I'm gonna take it. I normally don't, but I feel like doing reversals today. And we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck and then the Ten of Cups after that. Clarify the Justice card spirit. Thank you. Um, we have the star coming out. So 
I feel like um, for the most part, the two of you guys have a very solid connection here. So I do feel like this is most likely a friendship and um, you guys have a very balanced friendship. You guys communicate very well with each other. I think you guys are very open with each other. And for the most part though, this person has feelings for you and they have, um, with the Three of Cups, there is feelings that run pretty deep here with the star as well, because star can really talk about someone who has deep emotional feelings towards you. But with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune, um, I don't know if maybe you gave this person an ultimatum or not, or maybe you told them your feelings recently, but I almost feel like that this person would it's one of those things where they don't want to be in a connection with you because they don't want to ruin the friendship is what I'm feeling from this pile. And I don't know how other way to say it guys, but I feel like this person sees you as someone that is definitely like they're, um, with this card, the chariot card, like you guys are very compatible with each other. But there's just this energy of them feeling like maybe right now would not be good, be a good time. That's what I'm getting. They just don't feel like um, moving things forward at this moment because they don't want to ruin the connection that they have with you, the friendship that you guys have. And you guys have a very strong bond is what I'm seeing here for you guys. And I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but there is this energy of them feeling like whatever relationship or friendship you guys have at this moment, they are pretty content with it, with the Four of Wands. They think that it's um, something very stable in their life. You know, this is about foundation, stability. They feel like the two of you guys have an equal understanding for each other. And there's just no fear about, you know, talking to each other. There's just no fear about being in a friendship with each other. And this person has fears about um, with the Ace of Swords in reverse. They have fears here and they think about like, what if you guys did move things forward? Um, would it ruin the friendship here? And would things be different? Would things be not very balanced like they are now here with the Justice card is what I'm getting from your person. So this just flipped out when I was picking it up. Oh, look at that, see? It flipped out and it says friendship. So definitely they value your friendship. They want to be friends. Um, and it's not that they don't have feelings for you. They just don't wanna ruin what you guys have. We have go with the flow and we have communication. So again, they're seeing you as someone that they have a lot of fun with, that you guys share a lot of, um, things with each other with the communication card that they're able to tell you maybe a lot of their secrets or confide in you. They see you as someone very trustworthy and they feel like you are someone that they could definitely turn to. So um, I know it's a, a little confusing because this person has a lot of respect for you, pal number three, but as far as maybe wanting to take this to the next level, I'm seeing that this person wants to wait, okay? So um, it's not forever, but just right now. They want to wait. So why does, I just want to get, why does this person want to wait? Oh, look at that. We have the lovers. Yeah, this person cares deeply for you. Yeah, see, and we have the four swords. So, um, and we have the devil here in reverse. I keep seeing the five of wands. It came up like in every reading, like at the bottom of the deck. So this to me talks about them like overthinking this connection. I do feel like with the lover's card, they do have romantic feelings for you. So there is a little bit of a twist here, you guys. Um, but with the four of swords, they and the devil card in reverse, they're overthinking maybe what if this happened or what if we never talked again or what if the friendship that we had just, you know, if it just got ruined or if it gets ruined, if the two of you guys are together. 
That's what I'm feeling very strongly for your person that they have maybe secretly have this. Well, they do love you, pile number three, as a friend. But with the lover's card, it goes very deep. And so I don't know if you guys are aware of that. So they do have romantic feelings for you. But for some reason, they just, um, they just don't want to take things into our relationship just yet. So let's go ahead and get one of these cards for Cal 3. How does Cal 3's person feel? without yeah yeah see we have honesty I can can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself so um maybe they're also trying to come to terms with how they feel um about you so we have the four of swords so I definitely feel like they're doing a lot of thinking they might be again overthinking they also um, want to be honest with you and they also feel like the two of you guys have a very open and honest relationship here, again, with the communication. So very, um, they think highly of you, pound number three. That's what I'm getting here. Let's get maybe words that they would actually say to you at this moment for pile three. What would they say? The person that is watching. What would they say? Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. So yeah, this makes sense, pound number three. I for sure feel, feel like this person would want you to know that regardless of maybe if you're mad at them at this moment, or if maybe the two of you guys are not talking, this person still respects you a lot and they don't want whatever you have, so the foundation, the four of wands, whatever the two of you guys have, they don't want that to change. They want it to stay um, forever with the two of you guys. What else do they want to say for pal three? Okay. We were two different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. So um, this is very specific for maybe like five of you. I do feel like it could also be that um, this person chose to be with somebody else, okay? Um, this is not for m the majority of you. This is a very specific message for someone that needs to hear that. So take that if that's, you know, if you're like one of the five people watching this video. That one was very specific. Let's get this one. Hmm. I still see your smiling face in my mind's eye. Beautiful, pile number three. So again, a lot of genuine respect for you. This person has feelings for you, but they're just not ready right now to take things into a relationship. So let's get some advice for you guys. This, one, this deck is always so hard to shuffle and <laughs> to... It's so slippery and I have dog hair <laughs> all over it. All right, so here we go for pile three. We have hills, obstacles to overcome. Okay, and broom, new home, new attitude. So this to me feels like, yeah, that, you know, the two of you guys are gonna go through ups and downs with each other, um, but I do feel like there's going to be new energy here, you know, with the broom card coming out, there's going to be new energy. It's not going to be like this forever. You know, at some point, this Ace of Swords will turn, you know, and so will the wheel, you know, one, like what comes down must come, what goes down must come up. Um, so eventually things will change. Okay. Energies will change and shift. So if things are not going your way right now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be like that forever. It's just for right now. And spirit wants you to know that um, with these cards coming out. So let's get one more. Pile three. What do they need to know? New job and career. We have pin. So some of you guys might be um, getting a new position. That's just for, again, like five of you. 
So that's exciting. Okay. And we have older women, dealings or relationship with an older woman. That's interesting. So some of you guys, this could literally be someone that is a lot older than you that you have been maybe friends with. Um, let's get one more. Pay attention to your work. We have desks. So something again here about a new job coming through for some of you. So those are very specific messages for a few of you. Take it only if it resonates, guys. And that was your reading, pal number three. I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, share, subscribe. If you would like a highly personalized reading, follow my Etsy link below. And I'm sending you guys lots of love and blessings. Take care.